every basketball fan loves that sound. That swish sound as the ball ignores the rim and hits nothing but net. Good, good, good. Okay, keep, it, keep doing it. Keep when going. Leroy McClure works out his son, King, it's the only sound he wants to hear. A basket made that hits the rim is equal to a miss in his eyes. Come on, nothing but net. Perfect shot. That's what I'm talking about. When we practice, our goal is to hit nothing but net. Uh, in order for us to do that, if we're not hitting nothing but net, we need to make some adjustments. Uh, the trajectory of the ball, the rotation of the ball, the follow through. Come on, get it higher, higher, more rotation, more rotation. This year, he scored another 50 points, and he was 17 for 20. In order to score 50 points and shoot less than 20 shots, you don't see that often, but it's because of the way we practice and we focus on shooting and making nothing but net. You know, at first I thought it was hard. Once I started practicing and you know, I got used to it, and then it just became you know, just, just normal to me. And that's helped me tremendously in my overall shooting. The theory is that when it comes to game day, he's so used to shooting nothing but net that even if he's off just a tad, it still goes in. McClure is averaging 32 points on just 16 shots a game, so the proof is in the pudding. However, King hasn't been able to display his talents in the postseason. The last two years, he has suffered knee injuries that have kept him out of the playoff action. McClure is 100% healthy now and as hungry as he's ever been to perform on the big stage. This year when we play our first playoff game, if I'm out there, I feel bad for the opponent. We believe it's going to be uh, a record-setting night for him. That night was Wednesday against Sanger, and the senior did not disappoint. It may not have been record-setting, but King did leave his mark. Despite getting off to a slow start, McClure found his outside touch in the second half, finishing with 29 points. Add to that a very impressive 10 steals on the defensive end as the Stallions took care of Sanger 87-45. to as the playoffs go on, McClure has one thing. He will continue to try and prove each and every night he takes the court, that he is worthy of his name, King. When my parents gave me the name, you know, they pretty much put high expectations on my life from the, from the start. I feel like, you know, my name being King, I had to live up to it. You know, I'm, I'm not ultimately the, the King of Kings, but I'm King on the court. In Leroy's eyes, King has already exceeded his expectations by being a good student, an exceptional athlete, and a loving son. When King heads to Baylor next year, Leroy vows the father-son bond will be just as strong. Wherever they play, I'll be there. Um, that will not change. You'll see me still giving him signals that I've been giving him since the second and third grade, and he knows what those signals mean and it's just that relationship that we have uh, when it comes to basketball. That's not really the norm these days to have a father in their life uh, always there supporting you and teaching you how to be better and not just better on the court but off the court too, teaching how to become a man. So I feel it's just a blessing to have my father uh, teach me and be there day, day by day and help me on the court and off the court.